Uh, this little bitch, she started escaping from the puppy run, so she's telling me it's time to start her work. Uh, she did that last week, so I carted her in the buggy for a week, and then the beginning of this week, I've started working her as a stock dog. I've got nothing on her, which is sort of the way I like things. I can call her to me, uh, but no stop, no nothing. And I want to see, you know, how she reacts. Beginning of the week, stock ran. She tried to outrun them a little bit. Then she figured out if she took the pressure off and broke away, she could slow them down and control them. And I'm not really interested in a dog that that isn't smart enough to figure that out anymore. I've been down that track before and like to think that I'm getting a little smarter and wiser about what I choose to train. I taught her from the start to come to me and then she could go back to work as part of a work and uh, so I have no trouble getting her off. So I don't need much if she's got the natural instincts to work the way I want. I don't want to hide any of those things at the moment. I want to see what I've got to work with. Got a bunch of pups around me and uh, this is my selection process. It's uh, it's about what they got to offer me. I like this little bitch. Her mum was a good bitch. She's not going to be very big. But uh, I, I really like the way this bitch goes about a job without me interfering. It ain't hard to put a stop and a left and a right on them. That's not rocket science. Trying to find these animals, that's important. That's the hard part of it, is finding an animal worth training. Gonna have plenty of walk in. And I will be ready to start putting a stop on her soon because she's getting pushier. I need her to learn how to move stock, stop stock, slow stock down. And if she can figure that out on her own, it's not hard for me to put a command to it. 